Casino.com and today I'm excited to share with you my favorite buttermilk waffle recipe and we're going to top it with a blueberry syrup and freshly made whipped cream all using my fabulous KitchenAid mixer as well as my KitchenAid waffle baker. So let's get started. We're first going to start with our dry ingredients. So using my KitchenAid stand mixer we're going to go ahead and put in one and three quarter cups all purpose bleached flour and I have two tablespoons of white sugar and in this little um, bowl I have two teaspoons of baking powder a teaspoon of baking soda and salt and I went ahead and put um, a paddle attachment on for this recipe so we'll just lock it in place and we'll put it on low just for a couple seconds just to kind of incorporate the dry ingredients. Right, now let's move on to the wet ingredients. First up we're going to put in one and three quarter cups of buttermilk and you always want to shake your buttermilk really well. Make sure it's really incorporated. Um, so we'll put in, we'll start with a cup. All right, and then just one and a quarter, half, and three quarters. So once we have our buttermilk in, we'll go ahead and put in two eggs. And after the two eggs, I went ahead and melted some uh, one stick of butter. And um, you'll want to make sure that it cools so that way it doesn't kind of start to cook your eggs and your buttermilk. So we'll put in our one stick of butter. And with that, we're also going to put in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then we're going to let the KitchenAid stand mixer do the work. So we'll put it on one. All right, so it's always important to um, take a spatula and kind of go around the edges, make sure that um, nothing was missed and that everything is well incorporated. So see here. All right. And then I'll let it go for maybe a few more seconds. All right. Looks about done. It's time to go make some waffles. All right. So I brought my waffle baker over and I've just plugged it in and now I am letting it preheat and it will um, beep. We'll do like one small beep and then I'll know it's ready. It also has this little gauge up top. And right now it shows it's cool and it's going to slowly start to move and say into the preheating range. And once it's ready, it will go on to the right side where it says ready. So it's, it's awesome and you know, you just have to look at the gauge or wait for it to beep when it's time to go make some waffles. All right, the waffle baker is now ready. So it's time to start pouring our waffle batter. So I'm going to take the waffle batter from my stand mixer and give it one more kind of turn. It's, it's like a thicker um, waffle batter and I like to use a ladle to ladle it into the waffle baker. So we'll go ahead and we'll open up the iron. No need to put any cooking spray on the waffle baker itself. And I like to get like a big hearty ladle of batter. And I typically do like 
one and a half, two ladles, and I'll kind of smear it around so that all the nooks and crannies are covered with batter. And once I see that it's all covered, I'll close it, I'll hit start, and the countdown begins, and then I flip it, and then I repeat. So. So it's time to pull them out. Really simple to pull out. I just use a fork and just carefully plop them off and onto a wire rack. And then remember, we have ones on the other side, so we can't neglect those either. And we'll pull those out and we'll let them rest. That way it's ventilated on the bottom so the, the bottom doesn't get soggy. It stays nice and crisp on each side, but it's light and fluffy in the middle. So then I'm going to use up the rest of my batter. All right, now we're going to make our blueberry syrup. And we're going to take two cups of blueberries, put it in a saucepan. And we're going to take about a cup of sugar. And we'll just want to put that over top of the blueberries. And we'll let it simmer on low for at least like 30 to 45 minutes. You'll want the blueberries, all the, all the juice to come out of the blueberries so that they're still plump, but there's a lot of syrup there, which is caused from the juice of the blueberries and the sugar. All right, so it's been about 30, 45 minutes. It doesn't, you know, slow and low is, is the way to go with the syrup. And you'll see nice plump blueberries and, um, a lot of syrup to go over the waffles. All right, so lastly, we need to make some fresh whipped cream. So here I have some heavy cream that I'm going to pour into my KitchenAid stand mixer, and I've attached the whisk attachment um, to it. So we're going to put about two cups would be good, because I like to give everyone a nice, healthy portion of... Um, of whipped cream. So, right now that the heavy cream's um, in the bowl, we're gonna go ahead and place this on high for about a minute. All right, so our whipped cream is starting to get a little um, thicker. You can see it has a little body to it. This is the perfect time to add in your powdered sugar. So we're going to add in about a quarter cup of powdered sugar into our KitchenAid stand mixer. And then we're going to slowly let it mix and incorporate that sugar and then take it up to high again. looks about done. Oh, nope. So it's stiff, but it's still, it looks a little runny, so maybe a couple more seconds. That's good. It's nice and um, thick. And when you move like the machine, it doesn't really move with it. So that kind of gives you the sign that it's done. So let's get ready to plate our waffles. All right, so let's go ahead and top our waffle. I have um, the blueberry syrup slash compote. So we're gonna pour that all over our waffle. It's good, get the plump blueberries. And then we're going to give a nice, I don't know, what would you say this, like maybe a half cup of whipped cream. Plop down on it. And voila, 
Our buttermilk waffle is complete with some blueberry syrup and some fresh whipped cream. Now it's time to dig in. I'm make sure I get a little whipped cream on there. Find this recipe and many other recipes at katiescristina.com.